but we here so let's first and foremost disregard my hair because i went swimming and my hair puffed up faster than a biscuit on sunday morning girl what i say ah! anyway disregard my hair let's get into it Okay, y'all, this tea has been brewing for the longest time. I didn't know how to tell y'all. I didn't want to tell y'all. But you know, we're close enough. I'm going to share my tea with y'all. This is going to be about the time. It's going to cut me off like that. Anyway, this is going to be about the time where I got my name put on the criminal list. Mm, it wasn't my fault, though. But let's get into it. We're going to take it back to when I was like 15 years old. Girl. Back when I had no wrinkles on my face. So, it was me and my mom. So it was me and my mom, and we were in New Jersey visiting my cousins and my aunts or whatever. And we decided, oh, let's go to Virginia. Let's go visit my uncle and our cousins. So we took my aunt's car, and my mom printed off, like, this Google Maps thing, like, from, like, the she printed it off. So it was, like, on paper, which is the worst idea. We're going to come back to that. Anyway, so she starts to drive or whatever. You know, she's looking at the map, and she's taking the left turns, and she's taking the right turns and the left and the right. But let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. All of a sudden, we got lost. Okay. I'm looking like, what? what's wrong with I grabbed the paper like, where's the rest of the papers? Like, I think, what, what you mean? Girl! I don't know if she lost the paper or if there was a smudge or something had went wrong. But we were in here stranded. Oh, mm, this is before the GPS. That's why I said, keep it. At this point, we was like 10 minutes away. But we were so lost. We didn't know what was popping up or what was popping in. Girl, let me tell you. So she was like, okay, I think I'm going to take this turn right here. Let me take this right. That was the worst mistake. Girl, tell me why. We, we took that turn. Ooh. There was like this gate or whatever. So we, we was like, what? Where's that? There was this gate and like there's a person in front of us that like punched in the code and the gate opened and then they went in and they closed it or whatever. And then we was like, oh, we don't know what to do. So we, we put up to the gate and we pressed the help button. And this guy was like, hi, can I help you? We was like, um, we lost. Can you let us out? He gonna say, Oh, yeah, no problem. Just pull on in and they'll, they'll let you right out. He lied. Girl, the gate opened. We went in there. We was in there for two hours. If not two hours, then we was there for an hour or an hour and a half. We were there for a long time. It was not no, oh, let's make a U-turn. It was, oh, let's sit here and, and talk for a minute. Now I'm going to let you know what I mean by let's talk. Let me get into it so I can just look. Okay, so we pulled in there, right? We pulled in there. There are guys with guns. There was army men, there's people with like the strap bullets or whatever, there was rifles, there was so many guns. And then a guy was like, stop, roll down your windows. So I'm looking at my mom, she's looking at me, and I'm like, uh. So we rolled down our windows, like, Zzz. yes. And the guy's like, do you know where you are? My mom's like, no, I don't know where I am, I'm just trying to get this U-turn popping off. And the guy was like, hold on, let me ask your daughter, do you know where you are? And I was like, no sir, I do not know. Then all of a sudden, another security guard rode up on my mom's side of the, of the car. Then the other security guard was on my side of the car. And they were both asking us questions like, do you not know where you are? And I was like, no. Boy, boy, boy. When I tell you, they asked that same question for like 30 minutes. So we was like, we really don't know where we are. And it was like, this is the CIA headquarters. I'm like, out of all the wrong turns we could have made, Madre, really? The CIA headquarters? And it was like, yeah, this is the CIA headquarters. Mm -hmm. You know how enraged I just really wanted to just go to my uncle's house. That was it. <sighs> so they was like, um, can, let me. They asked for our IDs, and I was like, I only have a permit. He was like, That's gonna work. That'll work. So I open up my wallet. I give it to him, and they take it back to scan it. You know, to make sure we didn't have no background record or whatever, and to put us on file. But I'll get to that later. I'm gonna hold off on that T for a second. Okay. Anyway, so. When I had opened my wallet to give him my credit card, I mean, to give him my um, ID, he had noticed that I had fake credit cards in there and fake um, gift cards. So he was like, what's this? What is this? And I was like, um, I just, when I see it, I, um, uh, and he was like, if I was a robber, I would have robbed you right here and now. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. And he was like, he talked to my mom. He was like, are you aware that your daughter has fake credit cards in here? And she was like, I am not aware. What do you mean? And looked over. This is basically how it went. Let me hold on. Can I see your ID? Oh, yeah, of course. It's, it's it's right here. Thank you. I just. What are these? What are these? Ma'am, are you aware that your daughter has fake credit cards in her purse? Why well, you got fake credit cards in your purse? No, I did not know this. Tiffany, why? Why do you? Why do you got this in your purse? That's not something you need to have in there. 
Um, that's basically how it went. It was one of those, like, wait till your father get home type moments. But he wasn't even my father, but he was there. Like, so it was like a tag team moment. I never threw it away so quick. Some of the cops were still scanning our stuff. So they was in the back or whatever. And the cops was with us. They was like, you have any questions for us? I was like, uh, nah, fam. And he, he was like, he was going into like a whole like story about like oh we were in the movie red seals or whatever it was called and and the other movie called blah blah and he was all happy about it and i'm just sitting there like, kept talking and talking and my throat got so parched so i had some water next to me so i was like let me just go reach for it so i reached for it and the guy was like ma'am no sudden movement i was like i was just going to get my water and he was like we did this to your hands at all times so girl i sat there with my throat parched for an hour and a half if you know me, you know I love me some water. Like, I be getting dehydrated at the worst moments. Like, for instance, church, I have a bottle of water in my purse at all times. I can get th the thirst is real at any point in time. No matter that went on for some time or whatever, and they, like, check the car to make sure there's no weapons or no weed or whatever would be in there. And then they finally brought back our IDs. Girl, he handed us back our IDs. I'm thinking this is over. He was like, you got any more questions? Because this is the last questions y'all will get. He's like, if y'all come back to this headquarters or any other headquarters, y'all getting arrested. Whoa, sir, wait a minute. I said, what, um, what if it's an accident, like a wrong turn, like a, like this again? He said, doesn't matter. We got you on file. So this is your warning. On file? That's why it took them so long to bring back our IDs. Because they're registering us for the criminal list. If we, would, if we go to any, like, base on accident, like we're not supposed to be there, is it done? So when y'all ask me, Tiffany, why do you always stay inside? Why do you never do anything? Because if I accidentally take the wrong turn to a CIA headquarters one more time, I am in jail and I might drop that soap and I don't got time for that. Anyway, let me just wrap this up. They got, I didn't pop all time. I didn't even pop this whole time. What about? Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of tea. Anyway, we got to my Uncle Manfred's house. And uh, that's my uncle that we're going to. Shout out to you. And then, um, but everything was good. We, we uh, got to their house. We told them what happened. Like, it should not be this hard to get to your house. Real talk Tuesday. But uh, it was all good. I mean, everything's good except for the fact that uh, I uh, my life is completely ruined. Thanks, Mom, <laughs> for that wrong turn. Anyway, the moral of the story is... The moral of the story is, if you don't know where you're going or the driver doesn't know where they're going, put a GPS on or just stay home. Real Talk Tuesday. <laughs>